2023 XFL regular season has officially concluded and the playoffs are just about to begin as of my recording of this video. And in today's video, I want to talk about some of the players that truly broke out during this 2023 inaugural season and are players I believe deserve another shot or their first legitimate shot at the NFL. There's a lot of great players that had great seasons in the 2023 XFL year and I do believe there's going to be a quite a bit that will get some kind of opportunity with the NFL, whether it be on a regular season roster or a preseason or practice squad spot. Before I move on with the video, guys, remember to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Now let's get into it. The first player that I'm going to be talking about in today's video is St. Louis Battlehawks quarterback A.J. McCarron. A.J. McCarron is the only player in the XFL heading into the 2023 season that actually had a quite a bit of NFL experience under his belt. As he was in the NFL from 2014 to 2021, playing for teams such as the Bengals, Bills, Raiders, Texans, and Falcons as a backup quarterback. He did start some games, but was primarily a backup, and in my opinion, I thought he was overall a pretty good backup quarterback on the NFL level. He came back to football for the 2023 XFL season, and you could even argue that he was one of the best, better quarterbacks in the league. Yes, he was clearly one of the better quarterbacks. You may even say he was the best one, if you really want to argue that. He, in nine games played, he threw for 2,150 yards. He completed 69% of his passes, roughly, and he had the most touchdown passes in the entire league of 24 through the air, compared to only six interceptions. I don't think I need to tell you that A.J. McCarron probably is not a starter in the NFL. He is 32 years old, and he is up there in age for, you can say, quarterback-wise compared to some of the young guys coming in, or even some other young quarterbacks that are backups in the league already. But I do believe that A.J. McCarron is a backup-level quarterback in the NFL, and I do believe he can stay in the NFL if he truly wants to go back. On to the next player that I'm going to be talking about in today's video is DC Defenders running back Abram Smith. Abram Smith had a huge 21 campaign for Baylor in which he rushed 1,601 yards and had 12 touchdowns on the ground. However, it wasn't good enough for him to get drafted in the 2022 NFL Draft and he ultimately would get an opportunity with the New Orleans Saints but was waived during the preseason. This XFL season is his really first big opportunity as a pro football player, and he definitely has lived up to the opportunity. As he is the leading rusher and leading touchdown scorer on the ground for the 2023 XFL season, he's without a doubt the best running back during this 23 campaign. As in 10 games played, he has 791 rushing yards, averaging 5 yards a carry, and 7 total touchdowns on the ground. The next running back closest to him in rushing yards is Jaquez Patrick from San Antonio, who is at 443 in 10 games played. I believe Abram Smith's going to get another opportunity in the NFL for this upcoming 2023 season. Staying on the offensive side of the ball for this next player, we're going to be taking it back to St. Louis and be taking a look at St. Louis Battlehawk wide receiver Hakeem Butler. Hakeem Butler would have some time in the NFL before he joined the XFL as he spent time with the Arizona Cardinals, Carolina Panthers, and Philadelphia Eagles from the 2019 to 2020 NFL seasons and even had a stint in the CFL. This time in the XFL, he's having the best time of his pro football career and he's really showing people what potential he had going into the NFL after a really good career at Iowa State. Hakeem Butler in this 2023 XFL season for St. Louis has 51 receptions for 599 receiving yards, averaging nearly 12 yards a reception and a total of 8 receiving touchdowns. He leads the XFL in receiving touchdowns, is second in receptions, and is second in receiving yards. It is also worth noting that Hakeem Butler has very good size. At 6 foot 5, 227 pounds and is still a pretty young receiver at the age of 26. 
I believe he's going to get some kind of NFL opportunity in some kind of capacity, whether it is a mini camp deal or a preseason deal with an opportunity to potentially make an active roster. Moving on to the next player, I'm going to be taking a look at the defensive side of the ball, and I'm going to be talking about San Antonio Brahmas linebacker Jordan Williams. Jordan Williams, prior to his time in the XFL, would have a very short stint with the NFL and CFL as a training camp player. This is ultimately his biggest opportunity yet as a pro player. And similar to Abram Smith, who also played at Baylor, Jordan Williams is also living up to the opportunity 100%. As he's by far been the best linebacker, he leads the league in total tackles, solo tackles, and tackles for loss in 10 games played. For the season, Jordan Williams has a total of 89 tackles, 38 of which being solo and 51 of which being assisted. He also has 12 tackles for loss and one interception. To put in perspective how dominant of a season this truly was for Jordan Williams, the next closest total tackle total was by Devontae Beckett at 63. Now he was tied in first for tackles for loss with Trent Harris who's another star linebacker in this league, someone y'all really need to keep a lookout for, for potential teams going after. But Jordan Williams had an unreal campaign with tackles for loss and total tackles, being a true bright spot of that San Antonio Brahmas defense. He is a smaller linebacker, standing in at 5'11", 223 pounds, but at 25 years old and showing what he did, in this XFL season, I believe Jordan Williams is going to get some kind of opportunity in the NFL, whether it is minicamp or preseason. The final player that I'm going to be talking about in today's video is Seattle Sea Dragons quarterback Ben DiNucci. Ben DiNucci is leading one of the hottest teams right now in the XFL and one of the top teams as well in the Seattle Sea Dragons, and DiNucci has been a big part of their success. As for the season, he has thrown for 2,671 yards, leading the XFL in passing yards, while completing 65% of his passes, 20 touchdowns in the air, compared to 13 interceptions, which I do believe is too much for Ben DiNucci in that time frame, but he's also very good on the ground, rushing for 305 total rushing yards, being the Seattle Sea Dragons' leading rusher, averaging nearly 6 yards a carry, and a total of 3 rushing touchdowns. Ultimately, I believe that Ben DiNucci deserves some kind of shot back in the NFL again. He hasn't been in the NFL since 2021 and wasn't in the NFL at all during 2022. And I believe with what he's shown in the XFL, he can be a third string quarterback and maybe even a practice squad quarterback. And there's a lot of young quarterbacks in the NFL right now that come in and come out. And Ben DiNucci is still a young player at 26. And I do think he can provide some value as a third string quarterback maybe i don't think he's really much of a second string quarterback but i do believe he can be a third string quarterback at that i do think he needs to clean up the turnover problem that he has in the xfl he's one of the more dynamic quarterbacks and players in the league but he does have a little bit of a turnover issue well guys if you made this far in today's video drop something down in the comment section below what players impressed you the most during the XFL 23 campaign, and what'd you think about the XFL season? And before you head out, remember to smash that like button, turn on those post notifications, and subscribe if you haven't already. B. Kelly out.